Hello everybody and welcome, this is Farithia and today I'm going to be making a Town Hall 8 guide to reaching Masters League, an easy and updated version. So first of all, for everybody that came uh, from my channel because they watched Call of Duty, I will still be uploading Call of Duty videos, but I just made this video as a special basically. So, uh, let's get straight into the video here. So what I'm going to do today is explain how you can easily get to Masters League, even at Town Hall 8. So as you can see in the gameplay in the background, I am currently at 2611 trophies at the time of making this video i'm actually in town hall 9 uh, at town hall 9 but this video was recorded before so as you can see this is my record trophies 2615 and i'm currently four less than that must have lost four somehow um yeah so i thought i'd make this video because i see a lot of old guides on how to reach town hall 8 but i thought i'd make a much easier one by showing a couple of attacks different strategies you can use and the best way to efficiently use your shield to get the most of your time. So jumping straight into the first attack here, I will show you my strategy. So what I use is 20 giants, 6 wall breakers, my barbarian king and about 22 wizards as you can see there. And then I got clan castle giants in my clan castle. And so first of all you drop all the giants first, followed by your clan castle troops and wall breakers as well as your barbarian king. And once they've all made their way forward you drop your wizards so they don't get hurt. This, with this strategy you can easily two star any town hall 8 and the troops are very quick to train uh, as well. So you use three healing spells and drop your healing spells when the wiz when the giants get close to a wizard tower as wizard towers will destroy your giants very quickly. So by doing this strategy it's very easy to quickly climb trophies. You can probably get about 200 trophies done in a day and as you can see I'm just wrecking this guy's base, um, taking down every building in sight. Th with this strategy you can't get three stars. Um, for the most part because your giants just aren't strong enough. Like, even against this pretty bad town hall 8, I couldn't actually 3 star him. But nevertheless, it's still a very easy attack strategy that anybody can do. Uh, it really requires no skill. The only thing you have to do first is check the clan castle to see if they have troops. So this attack was actually the attack that brought me from Crystal League to Masters. Because as you can see in the top right, I am in Crystal League. And then after this attack, I will be in Masters. Uh, the good thing about pushing to Masters if you want to is the loot bonus is amazing to be fair. About 100k of each loot plus about 500 Dark Elixir. So it's, it's very definitely worth it getting up here. Even though the loot's not the best, it's a very good league just because of the bonus itself. So as you can see, my troops are quickly getting killed here. But I've easily got the 2 star with a solid 70% attack. So as this attack comes to the end, you'll see how many trophies I gain. Um, and you'll see that it puts me into Masters League. So with this strategy you can easily, so I got 18 trophies which is very solid for a town, for a 2 star on a town away. And yeah, that put me into Masters League so it's a very good attack strategy. I'll now show you how to effectively use the shield uh, to your advantage when attacking. So what you can see on the screen now is how, the best way to effectively use your shield. So if you get 3 starred in an attack, uh, that means you all 90 percented. That means you get a 16 hour shield. And as you're in a high league, you're pretty much going to get 3 starred by Town Hall 9s over and over. So basically, uh, with a 16 hour shield, you should already have trained, uh, troops trained. So the first time you attack, that will minus 3 hours and give you 13 hours of your shield remaining. Uh, with that 13 hours remaining, you then train your troops, which take an hour, and you have 12 hours remaining. Then you attack again, and you'll lose 4, four hours off of your shield. For So it's 8 hours, then you train your troops with into it seven hours and then it'll be five hours to attack so seven minus five is two hours and two hours minus one hour uh, equals one hour left remaining of your shield which means overall you can have one two three four attacks in what just one shield without getting attacked at all this means you can usually get about 20 trophies each attack times by four is 80 trophies so in one shield you can get 80 trophies which means per day you can usually get about 150-ish trophies just roughly so that's a very effective way to use the shield to always attack with the, this cheap training army uh, the gameplay in the background uh, behind the text is actually another a, a different attack where I again two start a town hall uh, 8 a very very easy strategy and w with the new shield system it's really easy to easily get trophies uh, yeah, so overall you usually gain about 80 trophies and lose maybe 20, so that's a profit of 60 trophies each time. It depends. If you 3 star you can get even more trophies. If you, yeah, it, it all depends on the trophy offers really, but overall you can usually get over 100 trophies a day easily, and this is a very effective way to get to Masters League. 
So I hope you haven't found this video useful and enjoyable. Uh, leave a comment down below if you would like more of this type of videos. Uh, this has been Haritha. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed and thank you for watching.